Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Cursive and welcome back to another video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to bring you guys a YCS Charlotte Speed Duel side event breakdown. I know this is a bit late. YCS Charlotte was around about a month ago, but I just managed to collect enough information to make this breakdown worth my time as a very recent so i still thought it's worth bringing this to you guys ycs charlotte was the only of the previous three uh ycs events that had a worthwhile speed duel side event because if you guys didn't know ycs charlotte had two giant card speed duel side events these giant card events are essentially um single elimination bracket but they can have more than eight people which if you guys didn't know the standard speed duel side events are just a bunch of eight man flights so because of the no cap or any restriction there, these are considered major events to a degree. So there was two of these giant card events at YCS Charlotte, and I'll bring up on the screen right now here for you guys, basically a picture of the three winners from the first uh, Charlotte event, which as you can see on the screen here, are these three guys they got some nice magician of black chaos very very cool we can actually see the one over on the right side who is the third place competitor at this one specifically has a looking into the future burn deck more than likely getting a little bit into the breakdown of the giant card events i am aware of decks that were entered such as burn uh multiple cyber angel decks there was multiple burn decks there was xyz moth I believe DDT was even entered into these events. So we did see some competitive as well as some less competitive decks um, entering. But what we did see is that Burn actually took first place in both events here. Burn is a very easy to play deck. And at these YCS side events, you're going to get a lot of people in the speed duel section that don't natively play speed duels. They probably got, you know knocked out or something from the uh, main event didn't perform so well so they jump over to the speed duel side event so a lot of them aren't super in tune with the meta as a lot of you guys watching this video might be so you're gonna get burn decks and the people who are playing burn decks because they really are just so easy to pilot never mind brain dead moth we got brain dead burn you're gonna see these decks take to the first place a lot of the time so we got burn actually winning both of the side events here both side events were around about 26 participants and um, we also see burn getting third place from the image that i showed you guys before but actually going into the deck list here that i did manage to grab for the ycs event this was the very first one i couldn't grab the deck list for the second one but here's burn this is the burn deck that actually got first place at ycs charlotte and um i won't lie uh, by the way it's playing the digging for gold david skill um i won't lie it's far from my favorite build of burn uh the double lava golem in the main deck is definitely interesting same thing with creature swap while not playing max copies of zoma nor max copies of nightmare wheel um also only one rota I don't know you can make a lot of arguments for the list and for what decks are played at what ratios same thing with straight flush in the main but going back to what i said about how prevalent burn is and how easy it is to pilot and why we see burn decks taking these ycs events um straight flush kind of makes sense in the main for this specifically the side deck here has sphere Kribo. sphere Kribo's Kind of interesting in this format. It's not crazy. It's probably half decent against CA, and that's it. Defusion's pretty solid. Mind Crush is great against CAs, and Waking is a punish for Straight Flush. Um, I do know the decks that this uh, burn deck went up against here. Essentially, we have, and I'm going to be looking at this screen over here. Just give me a second. We have two Cyber Angels, one Moth one burn and one xyz so because of single elimination we know that burn was able to take out all of these decks without too much issue and funny enough xyz normally has a 
pretty decent matchup against the burn deck. So the fact that, you know, we're able to pick up an XYZ win, it really does show kind of the caliber overall of these YCS events. And a big reason why I'm bringing up uh, the YCS event now, even though it's so late, is because we do have another YCS event coming this weekend, actually, at the time of this going live. So if you're looking to potentially enter a speed duel side event in that, whether it's one of the eight man flights or if they decide to host a giant card, by the way, if they do, definitely uh, hit me up. I have contact information um, on my YouTube channel. You can find my email. You should definitely shoot me a message if you manage to win like a giant card event or something if they host it. I'd love to uh, get some more information on this stuff because Konami doesn't post it. Um, but yeah. The caliber of players is a lot lower than something you'll see in like a win -a box for example. Just these people don't uh, natively play speed duels, so burn really is just the easiest way to win because it's just such an easy to pilot deck. Um, and the lists that you see aren't necessarily the most competitive, but irregardless, burn is very easily a tiered deck here, and obviously we see multiple tiered decks being entered in fact most of the decks that i mentioned to you besides like ddt are good relevant decks in this format this wasn't a crazy video not super a lot to talk about here because i didn't have a lot of information and there was genuinely just single elimination events and i only managed to grab one deck list but regardless this is a breakdown for ycs charlotte this is the deck that managed to take first place in one of the 26 ish player single elimination events um this obviously is a relevant result for the speed duel meta burns a good deck very very easy to pilot if you're new and you're looking for easy wins honestly it's pretty it's a pretty solid option for you anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed go ahead and hit the like button down below and also subscribe as i have some more meta coverage and meta discussions coming your way as well as some deck profiles ladies and gentlemen that's a wrap and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.